The cabinet secretary Kipchumba Murkomen to do everything possible to reduce road crash in the country. Speaking during the launch of the National Road Safety Action Plan 2024 up to the year 2028, the head of state also tasked the cabinet secretary to roll out instant road fines in the next three months. The president also challenged the police and the NTSC to put their differences aside and work together to address the crisis facing the transport sector. We all must recognize the importance of road safety and remain mind mindful of the fact that reckless behavior endanger both perpetrators and innocent third parties. Consequently, we must henceforth implement a zero tolerance approach to negligence on our roads and enforce the traffic laws and regulations to their fullest extent in order to promote safety, order and efficiency on our road transport system. The National Police Service shall ensure that there are no exceptions from compliance, regardless of whether you operate border border, heavy commercial vehicles, school transport, or any other vehicle on our roads. The government is committed to support the implementation of the National Road Safety Action Plan by providing resources, addressing legal and regulatory gaps, enhancing the capacity of the National Police Service to enforce traffic laws, and investing in automation and digitization of law enforcement and traffic management among other interventions. I take this opportunity to appreciate the considerable support we have received from development partners, including the World Bank, the European Union, and the African Development Bank. I also urge potential partners to come aboard and take part in this noble mission to keep our people safe on our roads. I also look forward to seeing other organizations, including institutions of higher learning, Join this collaboration to strengthen the use of evidence-based strategies and conduct research into various dimensions of road safety and road use behavior. Road safety is a shared responsibility which requires the execution of an all-of-society strategy through the country, throughout the country on a sustainable basis. I urge all Kenyans to observe road safety and report violations as part of their civic duty under community policing. Do not travel in overloaded vehicles and use the earliest opportunity to make sure that you report speeding or recklessly driven vehicles. The police must collaborate with citizens and ensure that dangerously driven public service transport vehicles reimburse fares upon arrest. We are determined to transform Kenya's road transport system from sites of frequent carnage into an efficient network that drives productivity and competitiveness because it is our intention to make sure that travelers reach their destinations and Kenyans travel safely in pursuit of opportunities to all places at all times. The collaboration that I see here from the Matatu Owners Association, those who are in the um, Association of Drivers, the Ministry, and all actors, is a collaboration that will give us the opportunity to succeed. And not just succeed, succeed in a big way. So I look forward to one year from now, we will have another meeting. And uh, in that one year from now, you better come and report to us that the numbers are coming down. Otherwise, you will be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> the first National Safety Action Plan 2024-2028 is officially launched. Thank you very much, and God bless you.